Thank you very much, Bill. It's a pleasure for me to be here this, this morning. And uh, as Rich has indicated, uh, we sometimes on the campaign trail don't agree on some policy issues. But I think it's really important that, that, this, that you see both of your candidates, uh, Republican and Democratic candidates for Attorney General, are in lockstep on this. We're in complete agreement that this is, this is a must, that a yes vote on this issue five is absolutely essential uh, for all residents of the state of Ohio. I, I uh, come to this uh, conclusion early on that uh, I just could not believe, after I had an opportunity to take a look at some of the literature that was being disseminated, uh, by the, uh, the lenders in connection with this, uh, uh, this, this, this issue, that they would be so disingenuous at best and, and in some ways uh, just downright false. You know, I think that some of these uh, payday lenders are more concerned with lining their own pockets than they are in protecting the consumers. And that's exactly what this, this, this uh, uh, yes vote is all about. We're all about protecting the consumers. I, I read where they, uh, in their literature, are concerned about the uh, commercial database of, of the financial information. They're concerned that that's going to become public. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that, that is, is false. It's not going to be public. It's not going to be accessible to the public. It's going to be a private record. But again, this is another smokescreen that's being thrown out there by the lenders in an attempt to try to convince people to vote no on this issue. And, and when you take a look at the track record that some of these, these uh, lenders have had, Take a look at some of the lawsuits that have been settled. There was a lawsuit that was settled in, in Virginia for $100,000 against a payday lender. Uh, the same uh, uh, company, I believe, was also involved in litigation in Texas. Uh, there's another piece of legis legislation, that's, or excuse me, litigation that's going on right now in other states. The important thing about this is that these lenders are more concerned, again, about lining their pockets than they are about protecting the consumer's interest. And quite frankly, at a time when Ohio is 45th or 46th in terms of job creation, uh, when we have all sorts of economic problems in this state, this is the absolute last thing that we need to have passed. So I, I encourage everyone that's here today and everyone that's going to see the videos, the, the written reports of this press conference to vote yes on this issue. Thank you very much.